it, Stuart Warren RC. Now it's been a while. I haven't put up a, a video for quite some time and I'll explain why in just a second. Um, I've got uh, over 1,300 subscribers now, which I'm actually really quite uh, proud of. Thank you very much for those uh, those of you that are subscribing. That's a small milestone that I uh, reached towards the end of last year. Um, I'm gonna, in this video, give you a brief update of where I'm at right now, but also um, give you a flight review on a model that I picked up at the end of last year. Um, but as for myself, what I've been doing, um, first of all, we've all been suffering from uh, COVID and Corona lockdown. Uh, here, especially in the Netherlands, we're going into a third wave now, potentially, so we're definitely not out of the woods. Um, as you all know, that causes so much stress and uh, you know, pain and everything uh, at home and with school and everything else. You're all experiencing the same thing, I'm sure. Uh, but not only that, I've actually been quite unwell myself, not with COVID, but with uh, an internal trauma. Um, it's been bubbling away in the background for a few months now, and I finally had surgery for it just the other day and I'm now recovering, and that recovering means that even standing like this is quite painful. I can pretty much spend most of the next 10 days or so just laying in bed. And I thought, well, if I'm laying in bed, I might as well do a little video update for you guys. So in the shed behind me here, that's why I'm showing the shed, there is lots of stuff going on in there. Up until the point where I had to be recovering, here is where all the magic's happening for work, and I've been very busy work, work, lots of Durafly and Avios and H King models coming um, for HobbyKing.com. So that's been keeping me busy and keeping me off the channel, but it does mean there's some uh, quite uh, exciting new stuff coming and some good old favorite V2s coming as well. Uh, also, on a brief side note for Stuart One RC, do you remember those uh, engines I got, the Satos from the uh, old guy that stopped flying? Well, those shafts are all bent, bad luck, but uh, thanks to uh, Dick van der Velt here in the Netherlands at Brown Bear Engines, uh, he straightened those for me and a great, great deal and he's done a great, great job. So those three shafts are now all straight. So in there, uh, mixed in with my work stuff, I've got some personal engines that I wanna uh, get going as well when time allowed. I, for myself, need to take it easy for the next week or so. So here's a flight review of my Sportscale KL20 that I got at the end of last year. It's not a uh, very polished uh, flight review, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. And um, I'll try and keep you guys a little more updated as we roll forward, certainly when I get better and as COVID restrictions ease, I wanna be giving all you subscribers out there a little bit more content for your money. So thank you for staying with me and I'll see you guys at some point soon for another update and look out for me on Hobby King because we've got some new models coming out there soon too. <laughs>and this is it, it's a, um, it's a sports scale Clem L20. Uh, this is an interwar uh, basic uh, trainer um, that, the, that was used primarily in Germany. This particular model was built by a German chap and then brought by a Dutch chap, a Greek Dutch chap, and then brought by myself last year without an engine. And this has got a ASP, here we go, look, let's get to the good stuff. No, not ASP, sorry, Magnum, but ASP, um, Magnum, SC, they all come from the same factory that is now no longer in production, which is called uh, Sanyo. Um, so unfortunately, these are no longer in production, but uh, a good engine, very, very good engine. Not quite the fit and finish of, um, say, OS, on which they're based, but they run really, really well. And this thing, this, I think it's 2.4 or 2.6 uh, span. It's a big model. This is just a 91, and as you'll see, it pulls it really, really well. Um, just enough to power to be uh, just a little bit above scale, but certainly lots and lots of fun. Uh, and it weighs around six and a half kilos, I think. So this engine is beautiful on this. Uh, it's got an Auratex covering. I did a few little bits you know, here and there just to give the fit and finish a little bit of an improvement, a little reworking on the engine bay. But all in all, that's about it. And um, really, I just want to shut up talking and show you how uh, show you guys how this thing flies. Um, I found that it's been a great all-season fly because it's got those really, really nice big wheels. 
Transports very, very easily. The wing that you see behind me just slides onto the fuselage. And whilst it's a big model, it breaks down uh, into a small, slim size. So it's much like transporting a glider, and that's essentially what it is. It's a power glider, but um, with a little bit of kick too, as I'll show you. So we're gonna start it up, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the flight of my second hand, uh, hand I guess we'll call it quarter scale, Clem L20 sports scale model. So let's check it out. Great enough. Huh? Great enough. Yeah. <laughs> Love that story. Right. So the light is fading. But it's nice and smoky, which I really, really like. Let's hope that on board, on the wing, I have added some weight to counter it, it doesn't cause any disasters. I'm just gonna throw it around. I'll show you guys why I love it. Alright, you're attacking the wing. Okay, I might have to turn it around by hand. That's okay. good. It's a nice slow climb out, and that's really what I like about this. It's not overpowered, it's a clem, it's an interwar plane. Let's just get it dialed now. There we go. Alright, low path. I'm just going to shut up and let you guys enjoy it. Just like I do. Look at that smoke. enough power to kick the rudder in, catch it on the elevator, and that's all I did. Really, really nice model to fly. And I'm gonna, just to show you that it doesn't need full power to fly, I'm going to do a nice slow pass. This is nice, I love that sound. Looking. Very nice. Right. Sky is beautiful. Yeah. I'm using a lot of rudder in the turn. This is just the way I like to fly and it likes to be flown. There we go. You can throw it around a bit, that's what I like. Rudder in I, I start with rudder first in the turn use quite a bit. I'll show you guys the loop because it will do that. Very uh, eye of a needle type loop. Get some height. That's full power climb now. So I'm going to push it down and then pull up on the elevator. Down she goes. And down she comes. Beautiful. It, it will roll, but I don't really like to roll. It's got such a big long span, and even in high rate, it's a bit tricky. Is that still picking up on camera in this light? Yeah, perfect. I'll bring it around again and I'll be touching guys. Alright. I'm sure this appeals to a lot of you guys as well. I hope it does, but this is... I can do this all day long, this type of flying. Let's bring it around here. Just get a nice level pass downwind. A little bit of a bank. It looks so nice. I do a touch and go this way, 
into wind. But she purred. It's four strokes. It's, it's all about four strokes. This would not be the same on two stroke. Now it glides. It glides a lot. So I'm pretty much power off now. A little bit above throttle. Bit of speed up. Oh, the oh camera came off, you see that? <laughs> right, I think you got it. We're now without the camera. Now I've got to trim it. Yeah, it's got quite damp up there. See why it's flying, flying better now though, so I can really throw it around a little bit more. Okay, full power pass. Really pushing it with the eight horns and the rudder. You can throw it around. You still have it. You know, I, when I got it, I got it for 150 euros without the engine, which for a model of its size and built as well as it is built. Really, really pleased with that. I had the engine anyway. So I thought that was a good deal. Another little stall turn off the top there. Catch it on the elevator. Idle as I come by. Turn it really slow as well. Don't stop the wind so much. It's hard for me to see now, actually. I'll just cruise past this way. You can fly happily at this throttle uh, setting. And the tank that I've got in here, I think it's like a 12 ounce tank, and I get easily 20 minutes flight time, especially when I'm flying like this. Softest of little bounces. This is again why I love this thing so much. Get a nice plume of smoke going. See if I can find that camera. I, th I think I see it. Let's see if I can go over it. No, here we go. I think the camera's about there, right? I did not see it happen. Oh, so. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> There you go, that is my second hand Clem, Sports Scout Clem L20. Doesn't do much, but what it does do, it does very, very well. Um, 150 euros about the engine. I'm really pleased with this second hand uh, find. And it's quite a unique model. And uh, I am very happy with it, so I just wanted to share it with you here on my personal channel. So if you like it, great, please comment below. I want to see who, uh, who else out there likes these types of models. Um, especially the four strokes. Uh, I know, a, well, I feel that four strokes are getting a bit of a renaissance, and I hope they are because they are so much fun and they sound great. Sorry, the lights fade a little, but such as flying in the winter. Um, I'll check uh, check out your comments below if you want to leave them, and I'll see you for uh, not necessarily a flight review, but I've got a restoration coming as well, uh, just a short and simple one. And of course, you can check me out on Hobby King as well, doing the videos for for those and uh, bringing those products to market during the day in my day job so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time there we go bye